Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring you review and swatches of Jeffree Star's new Bloodless palette. I was so freaking excited when I saw this collection. I was like over the moon. The packaging was like perfection. The colors looked beautiful. I really wanted the jacket, but I just could not spend like what, $65 on it? As much as I would probably wear it every single day. I backed off on that. So I got the palette and I actually also got one of the glosses, which this has actually quickly become one of my top glosses. I'm so in love with his formula. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about that today. So before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I would love to have you. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, all that good jazz. I will have that all listed down below. So without further ado, we are bringing to you the Bloodlust palette. So first of all, this packaging is just like, uh, it is absolutely breathtaking. One thing I can say positive about Jeffree Star, like he can definitely do some amazing packaging. Like he, he blows me away. When it comes to his company, that is always on point and I can really appreciate that. So um, this is not getting thrown away. <laughs> if I ever get to have a beauty room, um, this is definitely going on this shelf. So I cannot wait to hang this up. But I mean, just everything about this packaging just blows my mind. Uh, of course, you have all the ingredients listed on the back. Uh, Jeffree Star, of course, is cruelty free and vegan. Now this palette does run for $54. You can either buy it on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website or you can buy it on Beautylish. Honestly, I prefer Beautylish just because I have a little bit less hassle when it comes to the shipping. Um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics seems to take forever when I order through them. Um, so I go through Beautylish and the traffic seems just to be just a tiny bit better when it comes to his big launches. Um, so I do prefer that. So when you open this up, this is what it looks like. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. All right, so I love that it says bloodlust down in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out and put the box up because I, I don't even wanna ruin the box either because like I said, I'm keeping it. So this is the case right here. Now when I, this first came in, I could not help but to just rub and feel all over it. It is so nice feeling. You know, yes, this is going to get dirty. That doesn't bother me. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette gets dirty. Um, the only thing I have to say about this type of packaging that bugs me, I don't know if you can tell, I have animals. I have two dogs and two cats and um, it's already attracting the animal hair. So that is kind of like, oh, infuriating, but <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Even it's only been out of the package for a couple days and I already feel like I'm picking hair off of it everywhere. So I love the little crown on here. It is so pretty. Everything about this packaging is just amazing. I love the knob on here. I love the fact that you can actually, at first I didn't know how to open it. <laughs> I thought, well, would you pull it? No, you kind of like lift it up and it has that clasp to it so it stays shut. So you lift this up and then you open it up. And there was a plastic film on here. I went ahead and I took that off. It did have some of the um, the velvet like fuzzies on top of it. Not that that's a big deal. I just thought I would let you guys know. You do get a full size mirror. And then of course, these are your beautiful shades. I'm sure you've seen them all over the internet. But uh, yeah, oh man. I have been playing in this for a couple days. Of course, I'm wearing it on my eyes today. So what I wanna do first is I wanna go ahead and give you guys swatches. Now I was able to have my husband volunteer for darker skin tone swatches. That way you will able to get uh, light skin tone, which is myself, and dark skin tone, which is my husband. So you'll be able to compare it um, when I start my swatches. But I will be doing it in rows, so I'll be doing it uh, all the way down. All right.
so on my eyes today um, I have your majesty I put that all over my lid uh, when it comes to setting my primer I really really like that color um, and then I went in with vivid mood and uh, blood queen for my outer corner um, I went in with executioner I went in with uh, Vile Serpent, and then of course for the shimmer shade, I used Pink Magic. Um, so let's talk about these colors first that are on my lid. Like I said, I really, really enjoyed uh, Your Majesty. I thought that was an excellent color for all over the lid. It was just beautiful. Vivid Mood is a beautiful like lilac shade. I am so in love with that. I really want to do a look where this shade just stands out because it is absolutely breathtaking and it blended like a dream, okay? Um, Blood Queen is definitely one of my favorites. It's this dark purple. You can definitely deepen this up. Even though it might look light in a swatch, you can build it up and the more you build, the darker it gets, which makes it absolutely perfect. I know a lot of people were disappointed because this didn't have a lot of dark and deep purples, but these purples are actually buildable to where you can get that out of this palette. Um, so I really, really appreciate that. Now, uh, let's talk about Executioner. This black shade that's supposed to have all the purple sparkles inside of it. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeffree Star, but it still doesn't impress me um, as far as keeping the, uh, the glitter inside. It doesn't do it. I don't like it when any company, any company puts sparkle or glitter in their mats. It drives me insane because there isn't one company that has done it to where, you know, once you blend it, the, sh the, sp the glitter is still there. And same thing goes with this. <laughs> when I was blending it on my outer corner, my inner corner, all that glitter fell right out and it ended up just being a black mat. Now, yes, it blended really well. I will say you have to be very careful when going in with Executioner because a little bit goes a long way. Oh my gosh, I was so overpowered by this black. Like I tapped in it, I'm talking about ever so slightly, and I went to go put it on my lid. I was like, just like, whoa, that's still too much. It's still too much. Um, so you only need a little bit. I would definitely say build up this color. Do not go in full force with this shade because it will overpower everything that you are doing. Um, which happened the very first time I actually even used it and um, yeah <laughs> it's a very very beautiful shade and it blends really well the glitter doesn't stay in but take your time with this shade because you do not want it to be like out of control and then you can't do anything to fix it so that is just a side note so Val Serpent oh my gosh this is a beautiful what is this like a, a teal this green color is just uh, when I first saw this in the palette, I was just like, what in the world? Why would he throw that in there? That makes no sense to me. You know, it's supposed to be a purple palette. But I, when I tell you, like, it works. It really does. I love the way that this look turned out and the black into the green into the pink. Ugh, it is just sending me all kinds of vibes right now. And I am totally digging it. All right. So let's talk about Pink Magic. <sighs> the first time I went in with this uh, was yesterday. I was trying to do like this cut crease look and um, I was not impressed. I was actually a little upset and I, I could not figure out what the heck I was doing because when I was trying to get it onto my lid, um, it was working almost as if it was just a topper. Like I really couldn't even get it to swatch good. Um, it gave me a little bit of sparkle, but it wasn't like uh, crazy intense like everybody is showing that it is. And that drove me nuts. I'm just like, what in the world? So I scrapped the look because I really didn't like even how it was turning out. It was just difficult to do. Um, so I scraped off the top layer just a little bit. And today it works so much better. So I don't know what's going on with that shade. Um, as you can see, it is very intense on my eyes right now, but I really had to still kind of build it up. Um, I don't know if it was just because of that top layer when I had rubbed my finger over it, if it just kind of packed in um, because it kind of had this glaze over the shade. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Every other palette I have seen that they have swatched it has been just pure 
pigmented shimmer goodness <laughs> um, and I didn't get that first round but like I said I scraped off the top layer I was able to build up the intensity so I am happy with the shade um, but I still had to build it up it still wasn't like one layer BAM in my face it was this is like three three layers on each eye so I I don't know what's going on with that shade. And I, oh, I also will say, if you guys saw my pinky finger, you see that? Oh my gosh, this shade stains so bad, like so bad. Uh, blood sugar doesn't really stain my eyes. I mean, it, it, it will lightly, but I can wipe it off and everything's good. This sucker stains so bad. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about going to work tomorrow. I'll have like this, this pink, uh, mark on my eye in the middle. It's going to be crazy, but you know, it's so worth it because this look is like <sighs> everything. <laughs> and you know, the same thing that happened, uh, with the, uh, the pink magic happened with wet jewel. Um, I felt like once I swatched it, it gave me like a topper vibe and I couldn't build it as pigmented as I wanted. Even if I went in with my finger, if I went in with a wet brush, I still wasn't getting that full on just Mm, glitter pigment on your face like oh my god I wasn't getting that so I had to scrape off the layer on that as well in order to get it to work uh, just like the pink magic now I will say once I got wet jewel on my lid it actually did create this like stinging sensation ever so slightly I've never really experienced that with uh, Jeffree Star's other shadows that I have used I've heard of other people saying that it does sting their eyes just a little bit but this one kind of made my lid tingle um, it was kind of uncomfortable it did go away so I don't know what that was about I don't know what would cause it because I don't I haven't ran into that before um, but I did want to let you guys know I did experience that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you. For my inner corner, I actually have a Take the Crown. This is a beautiful shade. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to get this all over my lid. It's so gorgeous. Like I said, I do have it on the inner corner, but I want to do a look where it's just ugh, all over my lid. I, I love this shade. It is so stunning. The other two shimmers are really, really pretty as well. But Take the Crown has got to be one of my favorites in this palette. Um, now, when I used Deviant, I do think that this is a pretty shade. I did no notice a little bit of patchiness. Now, that could have been very well my eye because um, it was sort of, sort of a little bit more smooth on my right eye versus my left eye. Uh, maybe it was due to dryness that it wasn't blending out as much as I would like have liked it to I do need to go back and test that out but there was just a little bit of patchiness when it came to that shade uh, this shade dungeon is so gorgeous it really is just a perfect shade to deepen up the outer corner for your lower lash line it is gorgeous I think it has a multi-purpose and I'm really really excited that this is in here I was a little unsure of how this shade would fit in for me but it was actually perfect the shades I haven't used yet um, have been uh, Monarchy and of course this Bleeding Heart right here which I really want to recreate one of the looks that I saw with it. Uh, I think the one that Nikki Tutorials did where she had it like in the middle. Oh, that was so breathtaking. I really want to try and recreate that. So that is my future plans. But all in all, you guys, I am still extremely happy with this purchase. Um, I think the shades are in here are definitely different from anything that I have in my collection. And the packaging, I mean, oh, yes, I love it. <laughs> I love it so, so, so much. Um, it is so worth it, you guys. It is so freaking worth it. Like, this look, mm, love it. Now, very quickly, I do want to talk about the uh, the gloss. Like I said, this has quickly become one of my favorite lip glosses. I know I love the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. This might even be a little bit better, if not the same. <laughs> I don't want anybody to get mad at me for saying that because I love Fenty Beauty lip gloss. It lives in my purse. If you don't believe me, watch my declutter. Um, <laughs> And, uh, but I can actually wear this to work and it not get goopy and sticky throughout the day if I can't drink anything and like, you know, really parched. It doesn't do that. So I'm able to wear it at all times. I love that. This is in the shade, um, Wizard's Glass. Look at the packaging on that. Oh, purple heaven. Um, so this is it right here. I feel so fancy when I have one of his glosses in my hand. Just like, 
Ah. <laughs> so this is like, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. But it, 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 it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, you guys. Like, look. Look at that. Oh, yes. Mm. I love the way that these smell. I love the way that they feel. Um, I seriously want more of these. So many more of these. I, this is only my second one. I got the other one out of his mystery box. Uh, this is in the shade Diamond Juice. And these... Mm, 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 mm. These are my heaven. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for the review. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big ol' thumbs up for me before you go, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.